When you skin one of these things, it's a type of skinning called round skinning. You know, beavers are stretched out in an oval. There's no other animal you cut quite the same way as you do a beaver. First thing you do is come in at the wrists, take those off right at the joint. Same thing on back leg. So with that taken care of, you start your one skinning cut. Come in the base of the tail, this cut passes through the vent. There's the caster. You're just cutting through hide. You don't want to cut through the abdominal wall. We're not gutting them yet. The last cut I'm going to make is around the base of the tail. When you're skinning a beaver, you can take an approach they call it rough skinning or clean skinning. Because if you're going to handle your own hide and, and stretch your own hide and dry it, you have to get all the fat and gristle and muscle off the hide. I picked this little spot here just because I wanted to be out of the wind. But at this point, in order to keep the meat clean, I'm going to move to a better work surface. Man, this guy is thin. He had a rough winter, it looks like. When they start getting active and the weather warms up, they just really start traveling a lot and feeding a lot. They had a tracking device on a beaver one time in spring dispersal when he left his colony to go start out on his own. Traveled 200 miles before he settled back down again. So there's a beaver hide skinned around. Looks like that. Opened up, which is how it gets stretched. In the old days, they'd pull it and stretch it out on a willow frame. Get a sense of what you're after. Now, interesting thing about this, he's got two kinds of fur. These longer things that are reddish are called guard hairs. Underneath that, you have his wool. That's where his real warmth comes from. It's just great stuff. It's beautiful, versatile, one of the warmest hides out there.